Ants live in massive colonies, up to millions of members. But have you ever wondered what would happen if we separated an ant from her colony? Will the ant accept her new life? Or will she simply starve to death without a life purpose? Today, I decided to find out. Guys, the results of this experiment were very moving, so do keep on watching till the end to see the full story of the little ant as well as the big reunion afterwards. First, I needed to design the isolation chamber. I came up with this design, a chamber with sugar water on one side and regular water on the other side, which is also a place for our ant to chill. Now comes probably the hardest part of this experiment, getting an ant out of the colony. You see, this colony is still young and got used to me giving them food directly in the test tube setup, so they don't commonly wander out where I can catch them, so I'll have to poke right into their test tube. Ok, here we go. Immediately, Ant spotted my little stick, and they weren't very happy about it. The queen hit into a corner. I expected the ants to climb on the stick, but they were really scared. It took a very long time until one brave ant stepped forward and wandered out of the test tube on her own, where I could catch her. I swear I'd need like 6 arms to pull this out better. Poor colony. A UFO just poked into their nest and scared the crap out of them. Let's give them some privacy. But here is our cute test subject. I placed her into the isolation chamber and started the clock. 24 hours is now officially counting down. Mrs. Ant, what do you have to say to the camera? I'm going to attempt to spend the next 7 days in solitary confinement. Sorry, I, I had to, okay? She crawled around a little because something was different this time. For the first time in her life, she couldn't smell her colony. She tried cleaning her antenna to maybe smell some pheromones nearby, but no. She was in a very strange land now. Surprisingly, she somehow knew exactly where she entered the setup. She didn't start crawling around like I expected. No, she stayed on the upper part of the chamber, pretty much exactly where she entered. I wonder how she knew where she entered. You see, when ants get separated from their colony, they try to retrace their steps and use their senses to find their colony. So the fact that this ant did not move suggests that she either visually remembered where she entered or she smelled the colony through the little holes in the chamber. Or perhaps it's the combination of both. She stood there for a very long time. She kept cleaning her antenna. I think this was something very new to her. New smell, new chamber, new air density, new humidity. Nothing in this place was familiar to her home. Eventually, when she was sure that she couldn't escape at that place, she got to work. She searched and patrolled around the chamber, looking for any malfunctions in my setup through which she could escape, which made me really nervous. I hope there isn't like a small crack somewhere. But guys, what she tried next will truly surprise you. So when I came back to check on her, she was crashing into the wall again and again. Okay, I didn't expect this. I never saw something like that. Is she actually trying to break through by crashing into the wall? Okay, interesting. I expected she tried chewing through or something. But okay, interesting strategy, not gonna lie. But a while after that, I couldn't spot her anywhere. Oh no, I'll be really mad at myself if she... Oh, no wait, she's in the test tube. Thank god. I already feel bad enough. I don't need to live with ruining another ant's life. She drank some water and started chilling or dying from depression. Who knows? I covered the test tubes so bright light wouldn't shine on her and let her do her thing. I came back a little later to check on her. She was still in her test tube, cleaning, drinking, sleeping and thinking about meaning of life, probably. She stayed there for a long time. I mean, hours. That got me thinking. Is it possible that she is in this test tube because she remembered where her home was. She didn't even check out the other test tube with sugar water and considering her home is basically at the exact same place in the other setup, could she be using her memory to find her colony? I guess we'll never know for sure. She was in the test tube until I went to sleep. Five hours of sleep later, I woke up to check on her. Now she was out of her test tube, but something wasn't just right. She was shivering in a really weird way. Does that mean she's sad? Any ant experts know what's going on? Ants do move their gaster, but something about this kind of breeding was weird. I hope she's not suffering too much. Four hours later I checked on her again, and this time it was even worse. She stood still, still doing that weird thing with her abdomen. But this time she also had her jaws wide open. It was clear now. 
she was very scared. Ants can act aggressively by opening their jaws, but in my experience they do that even more often as a defense mechanism when they are stressed out. Guys, I have to be honest, I didn't expect that this ant would have these severe symptoms after just 20 hours. I had ants in isolation before and sometimes they ended up dying only after a day or so, even with water and food. I couldn't risk it. This ant was not doing well. I have to stop this challenge. Poor ant. So after 19 hours, 42 minutes and 34 seconds, I ended the challenge. I picked her up and got her back to her home outworld. I was shocked at how she immediately smelled the pheromones of her colony and went to that part of the test tube straight away. But she couldn't quite figure out where the hole to enter is. You see, most of the ants in this colony never really saw the outside world before. Just the most experienced scouts are allowed to go outside. So there's a chance that this ant never saw the outworld of her own colony before. So I gave her some help. I helped her get directly into the test tube and there she was already with her colony. Isn't it super cool that she's covered with baby powder? Because now we can know exactly which ant she is. I expected her to smell differently after this experiment. So I expected other ants would be a little suspicious of her. But no, other workers recognized her just fine. Well, there was one worker that was bullying her a little and following her for some time. Then she started cleaning herself and immediately got to work. Babies needed to be fed. A few minutes later, I checked on the colony again and I couldn't figure out which ant was our special ant. She cleaned herself. There was no baby powder on any of them. They were all shiny and clean, as always. So here the colony is, like nothing ever happened. Finally reunited. The ant has to be confused. She was taken from her colony by a higher power and then put back. She has so many stories to tell, but not right now. This colony has a lot of work to do and she has to help out. It's her purpose that she craved for so badly. That was pretty cool, huh? Don't judge me, guys. I feel bad enough about isolating this ant and poking into their test tube. But it was done in the name of science, I guess. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe and so on.